Hello everybody, this is Daryl of Passing Lane Motors and today I wanted to show you our 1957 uh, two-door hardtops undercarriage. This car does have a very nice solid undercarriage. The car is a 350 with a four-speed. It looks like it has an original style rear end in it. The front end's all original underneath the car. The frame is really good and solid. Uh, the chrome on it is pretty good shape too and the paint job is real nice. It does have a fairly recent paint job on it. Um, for a two-door hardtop, this is a real nice car. Anyway, the A-arms look really good. The ball joints are really nice and tight in here. As we move over here on both sides, the uh, A-arms, there's no, no rust in any of the main part of the frame here or the bumper support brackets that hold the front bumper on. This is that front pan that's inside the engine compartment. Here's your main uh, support for your engine block and for also for your A-arms and for your suspension. Um, if you look up inside here, it's a little dirty, but there's no rust. We didn't clean this car all off. We haven't done a bunch of stuff to, to uh, put a lips, lipstick on it. I wanted everybody to see this car for what it is. The frame is really nice and solid. There's no rust on the frame. Here's your front uh, bracket right here for the body. The body bracket still has all its rubber bushings in it. All the brackets and all the frame is in really good shape. Um, when you get to the very last bracket here, uh, on, on both sides, both of these brackets are a little bit, they're rusted on the very ends, but they don't support anything out here, so it doesn't, doesn't uh, make a bunch of difference. But here's, this is where it's really important, that you don't have any rust inside the frame or your uh, rear uh, springs bolt to. These are both really super solid back here. Um, it does have a uh, eight, eight and a Eight inch. I'm um, pretty sure that's what this this in, uh, rear end's called in the Chevy. Uh, it's a it's just a regular standard open rear end with a four four speed transmission. It does have a I don't know. It's probably like an M22. The pans on the passenger side are perfect. They're really really super nice. Over here on the driver's side, they've cut in new metal right here all the way over to the edge. So that does have a new pan put in there. It has been put in and tack welded. So we move back to the back. All of the frame back here is in really good shape. There's no rust holes anywhere in it. Um, it goes back up over the rear end. That's really nice and solid. Um, I'm trying to think here. As we get back to the back, I need to grab the light. Hang on, I'm gonna shake the camera around a little bit. Lights are bright. <clears throat> Back here in the far back where the uh, bumper mount is, uh, there's a little surface rust here, but everything is really good and solid. There's no rust holes anywhere along this frame right here. The bumper support brackets are in great shape. Uh, it does have new rear quarters cut into it. You can see where they cut the new quarters in, did the body work there. Uh, this side's the same thing. They cut in the lower quarters into the rear quarters. This is one place they always really rust out. This is the spare tire holder in the trunk. These are the two weep holes that they put in there. If you notice, there's no rust around the weep holes. So that's, that's really nice to see. Uh, let's see if I can get you some light up in here. Um, all of the frame coming up and around the uh, rear end is in super great shape. The body mounts back here are all still really good. Uh, they still have the rubber grommets in them. This is the original. It looks like yeah, original or a replacement tank, but it's still in awesome shape. So one more time here, you can see that frame over there. Uh, uh, the car has got a few little patches in, in, in it, done in a few different little places. Uh, but other than that, it is a pretty solid car. Most of the cross members are in really good shape. Um, the pans on the Passenger side's in a super nice shape. The driver's side has been patched. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Over here on the passenger side, this very front quarter right here. Let's see, where's my finger at? I'm trying to find my finger. Right here, this has been cut in. I'm sorry, I didn't see that earlier. So this has got new metal in it and new metal here. Um, so they did patch some over here, but everything on the other side of the frame is all original, so looks really good. Um, the pinch welds down along here. Um, but a little body work been done along this lower edge right here, but the back is all, all metal. Um, they cut, cut all the old stuff out and put new quarters in. So, one more time, this is Daryl, Passing Lane Motors. We're in Fenton, Missouri. This is a 1957 two-door hardtop 
Bel Air. Uh, it's got a 350 in it with a four speed. I purchased this car in Springfield, Missouri and drove it back to our shop, which is approximately 200 miles. The truck car, excuse me, the car drives great on the road. Uh, super solid and a lot of fun. Thanks so much and have a great day. Don't forget to call us 636-600-1140-1957 Chevy two-door hardtop. Bye now.